What lit the fire for you intellectually? For me, a very important moment was in approximately seventh grade, a man came to teach my brother and I a two week intensive on Milton's Paradise Lost. And I thought, oh my goodness, a big book. Um, I'd rather be outside. But he opened up and started reading. And ever since then, I have loved literature. Let me read you those first lines. I won't do it justice the way he did, but I'll do my best. Of man's first disobedience, and the fruit of that forbidden tree, whose mortal taste brought death into the world, and all our woe with loss of Eden, till one greater man restore us and regain the blissful seat. Sing, heavenly muse, that on the secret top of Oreb or of Sinai didst inspire that shepherd who first taught the chosen seed in the beginning how the heavens and the earth rose out of chaos, or if Zion's hill delight three more, and Silua's brook that flowed fast by the oracle of God, I thence invoke thy aid to my adventurous song, that with no middle flight intends to soar above the, above the Ionian mount, while it pursues things unattempted yet in prose or rhyme. And chiefly thou, O spirit, that dost prefer before all temples the upright heart and pure, instruct me, for thou knowest thou from the first, was present and with mighty wings outspread, dove-like sat brooding over the vast abyss and madest it pregnant. What in me is dark, illumine? What is low, raise and support, that to the height of this great argument I may assert eternal providence and justify the ways of God to men. Those were the first lines of Paradise Lost. Milton wrote this poem uh, in the style of the great epics of Homer and of Virgil, and it is truly an incredible book. Uh, Roman Rhodes Press will be doing a read aloud of all 12 books of Homer's Iliad uh, this August 2nd, so uh, you can tune in on our uh, uh, social media pages and follow along or listen.